Hello everyone, today we are going to show you the operations of our Bluetooth Flow app. First, we need to download the app from your Google Play or uh, App Store. The app name is Wish Home. Uh, we, we already have this app. We, now we open it directly. We, first, we need to register a new account. Uh, you could uh, register by your email ID or mobile number according to your own choice. Uh, but uh, remember, when you register by your email ID, you need to activate this ID in your mailbox. Otherwise, it is not uh, successful. Um, because we already have the uh, account here, so we log in directly. Okay, now we uh, enter into this app. Uh, first, we need to add a door lock into this app. Uh, we connect the plus icon. Uh, we touch the lock keypad to wake it up. Now, number five is freshen. That means it is ready to adding. We connect next. Okay, after D, it means the adding is successful. We, we could set the lock name, for example, office lock. Complete. We could click here to try to unlock. Now we can open. That means uh, now it is closed. That means the connection is successful. There are also many other uh, different functions at, uh, below the uh, app. First is the key management. That's user management. Uh, we could see there are WeChat authorization, dynamic password. Uh, we can add the user here. For example, uh, we add Sandy, add the username and save. And then we could uh, authorize different key to this user. For example, I can send an ABP key to this uh, user. Okay, I enter send this mobile number or enter his enter her uh, email ID. And now Sandy can unlock. We could also block this user and it is uh, the key vanish and then we could activate again okay now it's searching and then we could unlock and then the second function is add password user there are three types of uh, password user user password, dynamic password, and one-time password. User password, you could design the password yourself. For example, we give Sandy a six-digit password. For example, 369-369-36, Bluetooth sending. And I unlock 369-369-36. Okay. And uh, dynamic password and one-time password. 
uh, uh, decided by the system. Uh, one more point. User password, you have to set it next to the door lock. The other two types of password, you can set it far away from the door lock. Now we choose the valid time of this password. You could also choose here, and then the expire time will be uh, set automatically. And we generate. And then we got a password. We could uh, share it by message or WeChat. Or click or copy, then you could share by email as well. Uh, we use this password to unlock. A zero nine six. It's okay. And one time password. This one is valid for thirty minutes only. We generate it randomly by the system. You see to unlock four four six. Okay. You could also share, <coughs> but this password is valid for one time only, and it is valid for thirty minutes only. The third function is adding a car. We press adding a car to send it. We place the car in the keypad. Input successfully, and then we use the car to unlock. It is okay. And the third one is a phone authorization. This one we just uh, uh, show by key management here. This one we already share by Sandy's mobile number. You could also share by by her uh, email ID as well. And third one is lock setting. We could set the lock sound. We cancel this one. And then when unlock, the lock has no sound. No sound. If we activate it, you have DDD. It's the unlocking Chrome voice. The second one is the dual uh, verification. That means when you unlock, you have to input uh, two to user information. We tried it. Uh, just now we use the car can unlock. Now we just use the car cannot. Cannot unlock. We have to input the other user information. Okay. The passage mode means that the lock is always in open status. And you don't need to input anything, any information to unlock. Um, activate this function, but uh, to, but we have to unlock a time to activate this function in the lock. Okay, now it is in uh, passage mode, and then we turn off this function. Then we don't need to input anything it is closed again and the last one is the lock picking alarm if you turn this on if anyone uh, try to temper the lock you will the lock will alarm and uh, remind you uh, for uh, for the lock security and in the lock menu there is also uh, more function that is uh, some special setting of this uh, door lock. To know all the details, you could uh, download the Wish Home app to know all of them, or contact our uh, sales representative to know all the details. At the bottom of the app, you could see all the 
records of this door lock, including the program and the unlocking record. Okay, uh, that's the operation of our Wish Home app. Uh, we have another video about the Wish Home apartment version that is to uh, manage large quantity of door lock. If you are interested, please uh, feel free to contact our sales representative. And uh, today, uh, thank you very much for your time. See you later. Bye bye.